If you are going through marriage crisis, I recommend for you to sit down and learn. You see, everything about life must be learned. You can't become a doctor without learning. You can't become a mechanic without learning. And marriage is so important. Number one institution, but we are not studying. We are lazy. Welcome to Apostle TV. In this message, Bishop David Abioye, a servant of the Most High God, a man who has been married for over 36 years and has remained married with shining examples, a man whose children are also married and have remained married. I believe such a man has authority, results, and proofs to talk about the subject of marriage. And so, it is important that you listen to him as Bishop David Abioye teaches us from the scriptures. Be blessed as you watch. If you are going through marriage crisis, I recommend for you to sit down and learn. You see, everything about life must be learned. You can't become a doctor without learning. You can't become a mechanic without learning. And marriage is so important. Number one institution, but we are not studying. We are lazy buy books that teaches on marriage especially from those who are practice it listen to messages on marriage see when you go to your doctor you have bone problem you have to go to bone specialist you have heart disease you go to heart specialist you go to gynecologist for issues that has to do with your conception your pregnancy your delivery and all of that so go to specialists through their books and their teachings and find out how can this thing work. Teachers shows us the way with examples, with proofs, with practice. Go and study for you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You will have light from God's word. John 8, 32. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not be ashamed. Now, very importantly also. A man and a woman, husband and wife, must know what their responsibilities are. You see, we have to grow from legality of marriage to responsibilities of marriage. Legality talks about my right. Responsibility talks about what is right to be done. That's why when you see couples having problem, you listen to the woman, it will finish the woman. You listen to the woman, she will finish the man. Because it's argument, legality, like lawyers, with facts, with dates. Let us grow from legality of marriage to responsibility of marriage what is the responsibility of marriage what are my duties to my husband what are my duties to my wife face your own let the other one face his or her own in the process you have a meeting point when you begin to appreciate each other love your wife which includes forgive your wife as Christ forgive obey your husband as Sarah obeyed and respected her husband simple you see when you face what to do you bother yourself less about what she does somebody say I was praying my wife didn't answer what bothers you your own is to pray leave her pray more at a point she will start answering amen you left her in the morning you didn't find out how she's doing she's looking somehow in the morning say my dear i'm going i'm going say why not you can go and you return back home where's my food and she asked you where's the money you left a man got back home one day he said to the wife and the children shall we pray he said what prayer what prayer are we praying no, go on, pray yourself. You didn't ask, we have not eaten since morning. You said, we have put, 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 should pray. Pray for what? Go and do your prayer. So before you leave home, 
especially on Monday, find out what is needed in the house. What is needed in the house. And make provision for it at your level. At your level. There's a time I was so blessed by God, I bought rubber shoe for my wife. I'm telling you, that's my level. I bought for her blouse, 30 naira. Then that was my level. But there is no time she left without provision. Without asking. Because that's my responsibility. Many men are running away from home. Before children will wake up. Why? He has an appointment. Every Monday. <laughs> Before the children will wake up and say, Daddy, what about uh, school fees? What about pencil? What about biro? And he leaves the innocent wife at home. Struggling with the children. And you know in our culture, when the child is doing well, he's father's child. When the child is not doing well, he's mother's child. And you're expecting her to respect you. You're expecting her to obey you. You say, don't go out. And she answers, if I don't go out, how will you eat? How will I get money? Many men have pressed their responsibility today of catering for their homes to the wife. That's why there is disorder in the house. Be a responsible man and your wife will be a respectable wife. Be a responsible man. Amen. And on the other side, be a respectable woman and your husband will be a responsible man. That's the summary. After marriage with my wife just a few years ago, amen, getting close to 36 now, despite the people we have in the house to assist us, she goes to the kitchen to supervise or directly cook my food. People are there. But to give me an impression of I care for you. You leave everything to your house, girl. Your husband will soon go after your house, girl. Husband, love your wife means be responsible for her well-being. Obey your husband means respect him. Carry him on your head. One thing that is missing today is people don't talk much about their husband. As a matter of fact, in the public, they say, hey, my husband, I want to go back home to cook food for my wife. They say, well, are, you, are, you, are you the only one who has a boss, man? Hey, my husband, everything my husband. Hey, yeah, yeah. They are only envious of you. Don't stop it. Well, some men are very excited now. <laughs> I've told you before, you don't want me to close. Praise the Lord. How do you get settled maritally? Another point. Keep promoting the kingdom of God. We have had testimonies this morning. People who love God. They are promoting the kingdom of God. And God is elevating their destiny. By favor. By favor. Everything works by favor in this kingdom. Psalm 103 verses 13 and 14. Serve God and he will favor you. And favor is required for fulfillment of marital destiny. Proverbs 18, 22. Moab and I never begged to be married. We were favored with marriage. How? Serving God. Serving God. Serving God. I got engaged in doing all kinds of kingdom stewardship. Including recording messages for God's servant Bishop Oedipo. The first technical officer in this commission recording these messages for me. Never sought to be a preacher, but just serving. And in the process, my wife serving, serving as usher, serving in the choir. That's how my eyes caught her. Amen. I was praying and I was watching. One eye for prayer, the other one for watching. One eye closed to pray, the other open to watch. I surrender all. I surrender all. <laughs> Amen. That's what I believe somebody should do here today. 